Assalamu alaikum. Let us continue with the remaining topics of Unit 5 Multiples. Finding LCM by Prime Factorization. Example 1. Find the LCM of 12 and 16. Method 1. By listing the prime factors of 12 and 16 separately. You have learned how to prime factorize the numbers. And you have learned what are prime numbers. What are prime numbers? The numbers which have only two factors are called prime numbers. Here, the 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19 are the prime numbers. And now let us prime factorize 12. 12 is divisible by 2. Answer is 6. 6 is divisible by 2. Answer is 3. 3 is divisible by 3. Answer is 1. Now let us prime factorize 16. 16 is divisible by 2. Answer is 8. 8 is divisible by 2. Answer is 4. 4 is divisible by 2. Answer is 2. 2 is divisible by 2. Answer is 1. Let us write the prime factorization of 12 and the prime factorization of 16. Prime factorize of 12 is 2 into 2 into 3. Prime factorization of 16 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Then how to find LCM? LCM is the product of the common prime factors and all the other prime factors which are not common. Here which are the common numbers, common prime factor, there 2 is the common factor. Is there any other common factor? Yes, one more 2 is there, common factor. And LCM is the product of these two common factors. Let us multiply that 2 into 2. Is there anything left here? Yes, this 2 you can bring down and one more 2 bring down and this 3 also you can bring down. LCM is the product of all these numbers, the common factors and the factors which are not common. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8, to 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 3 is 48, LCM is equal to 48. In this method, we are listing the prime factors of 12 and 16 together. What are the steps here? We have to write the numbers in a row separated by a comma. Then, divide the given numbers by any prime factors which is common to both of them. Keep dividing the quotients until no common factors are there. First, let us write 12 and 16 in a line separated by a comma. Is there any common factor for 12 and 16? Yes, both the numbers are there in 2's table. Therefore, we can divide 12 and 16 by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Is there any common factor for 6 and 8? Yes, 2 is a common factor. Let us divide 6 and 8 by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Is there any common factor for 3 and 4? No. There is no common factor for 3 and 4 other than 1. So, we can stop division. Then what is LCM? LCM is 2 into 2 into 3 into 4. It is equal to 48. We have to multiply the common factors and the factors which are left down. 2 into 2 into 3 into 4. It is equal to 48. Now, let us do some question by listing the prime factors separately. 
find the LCM of 20 and 16 by prime factorization method. First, let us prime factorize 20. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. 5 is a prime number. We can divide only by 5. Answer is 1. Now, let us prime factorize 16. 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Let us write the prime factorization of 20 and 16. Prime factors of 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5. Prime factors of 16 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. How to find LCM? LCM is the product of common factors and the factors which are not common. Here which are the common prime factors? Is there any common number there? 2 is there. Is there any other common prime factor? Yes, one more 2 is there. Then, how to find LCM? LCM is the product of common factors 2 into 2 and the factors which are not common. Here, the factors which are not common are into 2, into 2, into 5. Then, LCM is equal to 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16, 16 into 5, 80. Let us do one more question. LCM of 8 and 15 using the prime factorization method. Let us prime factorize 8. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Now, let us prime factorize 15. 15 is it divisible by 2? No, it ends with 5. Therefore, we can divide 15 by 3. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Let us write the prime factors of 8. 2 into 2 into 2. Prime factors of 15 is 3 into 5. Is there any common factor? No. Here there are no common factors. So its LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. That means 8 into 15. 8 into 15 is 120. If there is no common prime factors, then LCM is its product. Here, 8 and 15 are not having any common factor. Therefore, its LCM is 8 into 15 is equal to 120. Now, let us do some questions by listing the prime factors together. Example 1, 18, 24. Let's write the numbers together in a line separated by a comma. Is there any common factor for 18 and 24? Yes, 2 is a common factor. Therefore, we can divide 18 and 24 by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Is there any common factor for 9 and 12? 9 is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3. And 12 is also divisible by 3. So, we can divide 9 and 12 by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Here, 3 and 4, there is no common factor for 3 and 4 other than 1. So, we stop division. 
then LCM is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 4. You have to multiply these two numbers and the number that is left over here. 2 into 3 into 3 into 4 is equal to 72. Second question, find the LCM of 15 and 25. Let us write 15 and 25 together in a line separated by comma. Is it divisible by 2? No, because it ends with 5. Is it divisible by 3? Yes, 15 is divisible by 3, but 25 is not divisible by 3. Then go for next prime number that is 5. 15 and 25 both are divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. There is no common factor for 3 and 5 other than 1. So we stop division. And LCM is equal to 5 into 3 into 5. Here 5 is the common factor and multiply that with the remaining factors here. 5 into 3, 15 into 5, 75. Third question, 5, 8. Write 5 and 8 in a line separated by a comma. Is there any common factor for 5 and 8? No, there is no common factors for 5 and 8 other than 1. So, LCM is 5 into 8 is equal to 40. Last question, 20, 40. Write 20 and 40 in a line. 20 and 40 both ends with 0. We can divide it by 2. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. 40 divided by 2 is 20. Again, it ends with 0. We can divide it with 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Here, 5 and 10 both are divisible by 5. Divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Now 1 and 2, no common factor other than 1, stop division. LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 5 into 1 into 2. Here this common factors into the numbers which are left here. 2 into 2, 4, 4 5s are 20, 20 ones are 20 into 2, 40. LCM is equal to 40. What are the properties of LCM? The LCM of given numbers cannot be less than any of the given numbers. Example, LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. It can never be less than 6. It can be 6 or more than 6. It cannot be less than 6. When there are no common prime factors, then LCM is its product. LCM of 11 and 13 is 143 because 11 and 13 are not having any common factor. LCM of 4 and 9 is 36. 4 and 9 are not having any common factors, so its LCM is 4 into 9, 36. Of two numbers, if one is a multiple of other, the greater number is the LCM. LCM of 5 and 10 is 10. Here, 10 is a multiple of 5, so the greater number, that is 10, is the LCM. LCM of 6 and 3 is 6. Here, 6 is a multiple of 3, so 6 is the LCM. In textbook, page number 74, exercise 5a, question number 1 and 2, do in your textbook. And question number 4, a, b, c, d, e, f, 
do in your notebook. Thank you.